everybody again welcome and today we're going to take a look at heat viper versus blowtorch um I, when i saw this as a two-pack i was kind of going somebody didn't tell somebody what the heat viper does did he well yeah probably not heat viper has this backpack this bazooka And this stand. Um, Blowtorch has this backpack with a hose. That, uh, we'll get to in a minute. Um, the Blowtorch. A couple of mines. Uh, these came, I remember these came off of uh, Pursuit of Cobra um, Firefly. A fire extinguisher for some reason. Uh, you want your flamethrower to have a and an axe for reasons. Uh, <laughs> oh, and his stand, of course. And both of these have gold lettering on the top. Ta-da! Yeah. So yeah, I mean, this is um, yeah, this is an interesting set. Now these down here do come off, as you can see. Um, but they're a separate piece unlike the original um, the original it was just right on the feet right on the ankles uh, a lot of people are like why the hell are they running around with their rockets on their ankles help I know ask them I mean but is it I mean I thought it looked cool at least <laughs> just drop down poop plump yeah get your rocket and then load it and shoot uh, is it the most practical thing in the world? No, but, you know, I mean, probably should stay in an ammo crate. I thought I had an easier time with this backpack, though. Well, hmm. backpack doesn't want to work. Now, the other thing is, is that, you know, in the old school one, this little thing went, went up to here, and it was kind of like a targeting computer, but... This one doesn't have that, so we're just going to, and I know there's a way you can flip it into this tab here. I just never liked that. Uh, I, ne I remember that from uh, the claws um, from Joe versus Cobra, and I never liked it. So I'm not going to bother with it with the heat viper here. Um, I'm just going to really just put his uh, bazooka in his hand, and that'll be it. If, if he, his hand will accept his bazooka. Oh my, that sounded nasty. Um, <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude, you're, you're you're a problem. What's wrong with you? Um, and again, you know some of the best 118 scale figures out ever, right here. Um, I kind of wish they would take this kind of articulation. Like with the wrists and stuff and take it up to uh, Star Wars because that, that would kind of rock I think okay he's going to be a little lopsided but he will work um, dramatic posing music okay so I'm having a lot of trouble with backpacks today I don't know what's going on um, let me see if blowtorch is any better I doubt it Okay, well, I'm having a little trouble with the hose, and you know what? Uh, I think I've already added two minutes off of this video, so I'm just going to leave that be. Uh, so, let me just get that here. I still love these figures, though. I mean, these figures are really fucking awesome. Um, there were some quality control issues that got through on this series. I mean, but then again... Most of the toy reviews at that time were being written for G.I. Joe were being written out, not a video. So, yeah, there's that too. Uh, standard G.I. Joe uh, posability, anniversary posability here. Uh, I dig them. I dig them both. I can't say I have any major complaints. Um, I had the 25th anniversary. Um, blowtorch he was all right um 
I kind of like this one a little better just because the green breaks up the, the, the colors a bit. Um, I'm trying to remember if his helmet came off. I thought it did, but maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, no, it doesn't. I think I just lost the light. Well, this whole thing just going straight to hell, ain't it, guys? <laughs> yeah, anyway, um, cool set. I dig it. Um, yeah, I mean, these Pursuit of Cobra 25th Anniversary Joes are some of my favorites. Um, I really like, like dealing with them. Um, okay, I didn't lose my light. Sorry. I shook my camera, though. Sorry about that, guys. Um, I really dig them. I really like looking at them. I like purchasing them um, when there's some I don't have. And I, those uh, Collector Club exclusive ones, man, they go for pretty big money, especially the subscription service ones. That bothers me, but there's nothing I can do about that. Uh, it's all those figures that I would have liked to have. Salvo, Dial Tone, you know, all them guys. But, nah. All I can really do for now is go and get these and fill in those gaps and, and you never know maybe I'll find a couple of uh, vehicles I like to um, I'm definitely getting some updates to some of my classic ones perfect no but good yeah um, I do always do dig these um, you know regardless I just think they're cool I think they're cool figures I think it's a cool toy line I just all around um, Part of me thinks, though, I mean, the problem is we're doing nostalgia for nostalgia, because right now people are nostalgia, doing nostalgia for the anniversary line with Classified, which was itself nostalgia. And we're even kind of nostalgia for episode one, which is weird. So, you know, Star Wars, indie, you know, it's like, yeah, everything's nostalgia bait. So bugs me just a tad but at the same time I kind of get it but it still bugs me so that's where I'm at on that I look at this and I go well this this is kind of where the nostalgia ends for me um, I think I don't know I mean that is one that is really odd but you know what I think 118 scale some people say 118 scale is coming back in a big way. I think it has a chance. Um, some people say it's a dead scale. I think it could be. I'm not trying to be sitting on the fence. I'm saying I, I, I've seen some crazy shit. You never know. But that should wrap up this episode of Infinite Realms. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, beg, please. Give me some views, man. <laughs> Alright, I'm playing around. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to do all the good stuff and have you guys take care.